just in case you've been experiencing this issue of settings keep stopping error on your android phone then in today's video i'm going to show you how you can easily fix that error but before i continue if it's your first time uh, kindly subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i make a new video you'll always be among the first to watch the new videos that i make so without wasting time let's begin so i'm going to take you through what you're going to do in order for you to be able to fix this error so the first thing you're going to do is to open your phone settings so under this you're going to choose apps and notifications that third option so then from there you're going to select the option of see all apps see all apps and then after it loads you're going to scroll down to the settings option because it's arranged alphabetically so you're going to scroll to settings and then you click on that and then you click storage so from there you clear storage you tap the option of clear storage and then you click ok so after clearing that storage still you're, you're going back to settings again to phone settings and then under apps and pref preferences still so you're going to click apps and preferences and then see all apps and then you look for google play services google play services for ease you're going to scroll down to letter g and then you click on it so when you click you're going to storage so from storage now you you also clear storage you click clear storage then you'll it will bring you these three options and then you select you select clear all data so you tap on the third option clear all data and then, and then you click ok so after you have done that the last setting that you're going to do uh, is still under phone settings so you're still going back to settings so from settings you're going to, sc to scroll down to the option of system so from system you scroll down to reset options and then the second option i mean the third reset all system settings and then it will ask you for a confirmation on to reset those so after that you're going to restart your phone and by so doing that error will be fixed so i hope this video will help you in case it does don't forget to give a thumbs up and also share to your colleagues and you can also check the videos on the right at the end of this very video that could still be of help so thanks for watching and see you in my next video